Today's episode is gonna be, if you remember the 6.0 that didn't have any ring gap and it killed the cylinders. So that engine is gonna go, it's gonna get a stroker kit and it's gonna go to a 408. So today, and it had uh, main bolts instead of main studs. So today we're gonna get this thing in the line home and put the studs in it and dust a line home through it and get all that corrected. So hang loose and we'll get it set up and be right back. So Andrew got all the uh, factory bolts out and cleaned it up and went ahead and put the studs in. And if you remember in the original video on this engine, it had wiped out the thrust um, most likely from uh, pressure in the converter. You got to restrict com the pressure going in the converter to stop it from trying to push the crank out of the front of the motor. So I, I didn't even pay it no attention, um, but you can see the number two main cap, how far it pushed the crank, and it was actually rubbing on the cap. Now luckily, it didn't hurt the cap. I mean, it's just ugly, but the cap still fits nice and tight in the block and all that. But, um, but like I said, we're gonna line on it anyway, but, but I, I just thought that would be good to see. And, and I think the back one, has got a little rubbing on the back cap too. But but anyway, so we're gonna get this one on and torque it and then we're gonna measure them and see where we stand. All right, so they all torqued. <clears throat> I got my gauge set and we're just going, uh, one thing, I, I did a test before on studs to bolts in an aluminum block and it didn't really do anything. And this is an iron block and I have I have confidence that it's not gonna do anything either, especially in iron, as far as changing the bore dimension. So, well, but we're gonna check it and just see what it says. Cause I line honed this block originally, so it should be, you know, pretty good. But again, I, we'll see. So that's a zero. That's about a tenth over. That's a zero. That's right on zero. And that's about a tenth over. So it's good. <clears throat> I'm gonna dust a line home through it just to make sure that, yeah, it actually rubbed that front cap too. Not, I mean, not nothing to mount to nothing, but it rubbed the, the front calf also. If you can see, if you can see there, the the dark spots. But I, but like I say, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna just dust the hole through it and just make sure. Because I mean, we could we could bump it up a few tenths for sure. Because it's right on the bottom. Z zero is the minimum dimension that it can be. So, and that's usually where I put them to end up with the bearing clearance that we want to have. And it usually works out really good. Do I need to move that? And usually like if there's any kind of a alignment problem oh yeah that's slick as glass so if there's ever if there's ever you know like each main is a little out of round or or the hole is not round when you run the line home through it it'll it'll be like chattery you'll feel it and i mean literally it's just slick as glass so that's telling us that changing the main studs in an iron or an aluminum block ain't changing crap. 
Should you line hone it? Absolutely, because the factory line hone is trash. But if it's already been corrected and for some reason you didn't go studs and you want to go studs afterwards, it's perfectly fine and it ain't gonna hurt a thing in the world. And, and I didn't much think it would, but this, this is two different blocks that we've checked on camera and absolutely no issues. So it, it, it's good. Yeah, I mean, that just feels really nice. So I'm sure that that's probably a tenth or two. And like I say, I mean, a tenth or two over zero is, is, is where we want to be. I think the tolerance is like a thousandth. And, we, and again, this deal's going, you know, forwards crank and supercharger and all of that jazz. It's still just a tenth or so above zero, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it another few strokes. That's where we want to be. Yeah, that's about three tenths. Well, that's about four tenths. So we're gonna we're gonna call that good. Um, I'm, I'm glad that it didn't take any more than that, but I, I didn't, like I say, I didn't really think it would. Where's my rag? So, uh, that was short and sweet. So that's gonna be episode one. Um, we, we, we learned a couple of things that was good. We can put in our hat. Uh, this one has already been decked, bored, line honed. It, it's had the full treatment but because it hurt the cylinders, um, I had wise cut, it was 30 over, it had diamonds in it and uh, it was 30. And so this time uh, it was just economics. Wise co would make me a piston cheaper than diamond would. So we got wise co to make a dish piston cause this thing's gonna have a supercharger now. So we had to put a pretty good size dish in it cause it's a 408 and it's a 64 cc chamber. Um, so all of that cr creates problems. So all we're gonna have to do is hone it. So the next step, we'll get it in the cylinder hone and we'll get the torque plates on and we're gonna hone it from 30 to 40 and, or you know whatever it takes to get the correct clearance for the new pistons. And then pretty much the block work will be done. It'll get final washed, cam bearings, and then we'll be ready to balance the rotating assembly. Uh, it's gonna use, we got a Molnar crank, uh, Wiseco pistons, and I believe we're doing Molnar rods too. So we'll, 
you'll get to see that. We'll do an episode on balancing and all that. And I don't know if we are gonna put the short block together this time or not. I need to talk to the customer and see. But regardless, episode one, uh, I don't know what we're gonna call this thing, the, the 60 slash 408 maybe. Um, but hang loose and we're gonna get, you know, there'll be some more episodes coming really soon on this and, and hopefully we'll be back on the LS9 Monday or so, I hope. All right, thanks so much. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Check out the website. See you on the next one.